Hello and welcome to Car Dealer Live. I'm James Bagger. I'm the editor of Car Dealer and today we're talking the very latest on used car pricing with Darren Martin, Director of Valuations at Trade Price Experts, Cap HPI. Darren, good afternoon. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you, Darren. Good to see you once again. So let, let's get straight into it. We're in uh, coming towards the end of April now. What are, what are uh, used car values doing this month? So yeah, we we cut off for our monthly subscribers uh, over the weekend. So we um, we publish um, later on in the week, Wednesday, I think. So values have dropped um, one percent at that three year benchmark figure, um, which is equivalent to about two hundred pounds. Um, a couple of ways of looking at that figure, really. Um, firstly, it's the first drop we've seen in a month this year. Um, so we've had three three um, previous months where values have gone up, um, albeit quite gently. Um, but also looking at it compared to, to other Aprils over previous years, it's actually a strong performance. April is the month where values do tend to drop. I think we've all forgotten over the over the last three years that um, we do get we should have deflation with used car values as well. So a small downward movement. I, I'm actually seeing it as a positive this month. So it's a, it's a pretty healthy market. I can I can read the comments on this video already. Um, Will be people predicting, oh, this is the start of all of the huge falls in used car prices and the realignment. I mean, what's your expert view on that? There's certainly not a huge falls coming. Um, it's uh, it's a it's a small movement. I think we're in, we, they can't keep going up. Values have been going up for the last three years overall. I was looking at some data the other day that I think there's about nine generations out of thousands that have actually dropped in value over the last three years. Everything else has gone up, and some of those fallers are REVs, which are well documented what's happening there. So, yeah, for in general, um, values due in April, I would say the average is a sort of 1.4, 1.6-ish drop. So we're on the on the positive side of that. So anyone suggesting this is the start of um of a, of a big sort of drop, it would I, I would say definitely not not going to happen. We might get more of the same over the coming months, but that, again, that that's nothing untoward. It is what normally happens in the, in the used car market. So let's break it down a little bit the um in, into different sectors. What how's petrol, diesel, and and electric vehicles uh, performing in those numbers? Yeah, it's, it's always fuel type at the moment that everyone wants to talk about. Um, petrol has dropped by 0.8%, and diesel's dropped by 0.9%, so very, very similar to each other and pretty much in, in line with, with that average, just under. Um, electric vehicles have dropped by 4.7%, so they're the ones that stand out. Hybrids have dropped sort of by somewhere in between that 2%, 1.6% uh, for plug-in hybrids. So it's that electric vehicle uh, sector or, or fuel type that is um, is struggling still. We'll, we'll come on to that in a moment, but let's just let's focus on, on April and why it is a month when values do drop. You've mentioned that that does happen historically. Can we just explain to people who perhaps don't know why that happens? Yeah, it's, it's generally down to... Um, well, it, the used car market is always down to supply and demand. And obviously in March, you get a new plate, you get new registrations coming in, lots more volume coming into the market. Um, and that generates part exchanges and fleet returns that add to volume in the in the uh, used car market. So you've got the supply side of things there. And depending on when Easter falls, uh, if it falls in April, which it, it quite often does, um, occasionally it's in March, but generally it's more likely to be in April. Um, and that's when people go on holiday, school holidays, people doing other things, not necessarily out there. Sort of the consumers, not necessarily out there looking to buy used cars. And obviously you've got dealerships that are not open all the time and their staff go on holiday. And so various, various things like that uh, playing, playing a bit of a part. It's just the market sort of switches off to a small degree over that sort of Easter period. So you get less demand and you get more supply, which generally leads to, uh, to values dropping. A little bit like those summer holiday months, I'm sure. Um, let, let's focus a little bit then on those on those electric cars. You you said they dropped four point seven percent. Is that correct? Four point seven percent. So yeah, let's just look back at how that's the how that's been over the last few months. January, February, March. We've seen some dramatic falls in electric car prices, haven't we? What's happening in in specifically in that area of the market now? Yeah, so we, I think this is the eighth month of drops now for EVs. Um, adds up to about 34, 35% over that period of time, which, I mean, can't say that flippantly, really. That is a, that's a hell of a drop over a, over that period of time for, the, for this to happen. The, the drops this month 
they are slightly less than the previous three months. So you could um, you could argue there's a bit of a stabilisation there. It's quite difficult to generalise now on EVs because there are different models that are moving at, at different times. I mean, the, the Model 3 has been the one that gets talked about. That's, that is coming down again this month, but um, I say only, but by sort of only 3%. That is less than it's done previously, but it is still still dropping to a degree. I pay similarly, but I think the pressure is on the is below that. The, the pressure really is on the sort of the the, um, the cars that are close to those values now of the um, of the Model Three, where the Model Three has come down by about thirteen or fourteen thousand um, pounds over this period of time. Something like the Nissan Leaf has only come down by eight thousand pounds in percentage terms. The Leaf has come down more, but in pound note terms, it's now sits a lot closer, or the, or the Model Three sits a lot closer to it. So if you go in as a consumer to buy, or you're looking to buy an EV, and maybe you're looking for at that lower end, and suddenly you realise that for twenty thousand pounds, which obviously with monthly payments you, is could be more affordable, you can get an aspirational Tesla then it puts the other cars under more pressure. And that's definitely what we've seen with some of the movements this month. Cars like the, like the Corsa E, uh, Volkswagen ID3, um, uh, Hyundai Kona Electric, they've all dropped by fair amounts this month. So you're talking sort of eight, nine percent. So some, some big movements in, in those sorts of areas. So I've been talking to a number of people who are actually in the market for, for a used EV at the moment. They're saying, they're asking me, when's this going to end, James? And I said, well, I'm going to be speaking to the man who will know soon. So, uh, Darren, what is next for, for used EV prices? And, and when is a good time for people to actually dip their toe into the market and buy? I think now's a good time to dip the toe in and buy. Um, we have seen some movements down, as, as I say, but it depends on the model. Um, but, yeah, it's certainly... Dealers that are dipping their toes back in and are buying, not in huge volumes, but are buying, they're doing quite well out of them. I've been speaking to, to a dealer who bought uh, bought some iPace um, and did very well and sold them all and is out looking for more. So I think if you buy at the right price, um, if you don't overdo it, um, especially if you're a group and you spread them out around your, around your sites, I think now's, now's the time for, for a consumer. Um, I mean, you can get a Model 3 in the 20s, 20,000 pounds, between 20 and 30, and there are some at the lower end of that. I think it's it's a good time. I think cars like the Model 3, although it has come down this month, I think there could, could be some stability to come. Um, again, for for models like the I-Pace, but some of that lower end stuff has probably got a little bit more pain. But the, the main thing is it, it's still, the consumer is, I think, is a little bit switched off. I know... That there, that there are there is demand, but is it demand to buy or is it just clicks and just views and and maybe thinking I might buy one, but I'm not sure I'm quite ready yet. Maybe I'll go for it next time, not this time. And that obviously that next time could be in three or five years if they don't buy it now. So, um, and there's more of these coming, but but they are selling. It's not to say they're not selling. They're selling at a price. We in the first quarter of the year, we got forty percent of the volume that we got in the whole of last year of sold EVs in the trade market. So they are selling, they're just selling at, at lower prices. But are there more falls to come in these these EV prices or, or, or is that those drops starting to tail off? I mean, I know that we've mentioned it is with some models like the Tesla, but you've, you've mentioned that some other ones have been impacted still quite heavily. I mean, are, are we getting towards the bottom of that, that curve? There, there has to be a realignment of between models. So those that, I mean, we, we've produced some charts that showed that um, there were cars that were a thousand, two thousand pounds below a Model 3 six months ago. They're now 14,000 pounds above a Model 3. So there has to be some realignment there. So given a bit of a political answer here, but I, that I think there's more, more drops to come in certain areas, but some have stabilised. So it's not across the board. I think we're we're some way away from stability across the whole piece, though. So there there will still be some some movement down. Everything has to have relativity um, in the in the used car market for between models, and and that has still got some way to go. And we we talked about hybrids uh, earlier. You mentioned that they are performing slightly better than the battery electric vehicles. Are they a better bet for people? I think it's well, it's it's always been a halfway house, isn't it? And I think they are. But they are a slightly better bet just because it gives you a bit a little bit more peace of mind so if you're not fully prepared to go for levy 
um, than they are they, they, they can be. And they've, they've been around for a long time, some of those models as well. So maybe there's there's some sort of lower valued ones there, got a bit more faith in them. But I think if you do your homework, EV works for people as well. It's just about it's just about doing doing the doing the sums really and, and working out the um the range. Those with a longer range very appealing for the, for the consumer but there has been some bad press over over recent months certainly over sort of that christmas period cost of living concerns hasn't helped the cost of actually charging up hasn't helped um range anxiety remains an issue but for those longer range ones evs do a, do a really good job and also if you just look at how much you actually use those cars maybe they the the, the, the shorter range ones will work for most journeys as well but maybe that's for your second car rather than your first car and is anything going up at the moment? Um, there's not a much. There's not much going up. It's generally stability or or models going going down slightly in value. But as I say, that for those sort of ICEs, that is um that is only um small movements down generally. So there's nothing that's um nothing that's particularly going up. Um, and and looking ahead to that twenty thirty ban. What are your thoughts on what's going to happen to to used car prices around that time? I know it's some way off. But my gut feeling is that petrols and diesels, as we get closer, will have a bit of a push upwards in prices. Is that something that that, that Cap HPI is predicting too? It, it's certainly it's certainly not out of the question because volumes will be lower because all of the manufacturers are are launching electric vehicles. You look at all the adverts on the TV; they're all for electric vehicles now. Electric vehicles are going to increase in volume, um, increase in their share. Um, so petrol and diesel uh, vehicles, it, it depends a lot on legislation if they if they start to get banned in various places. But yeah, there's certainly a scenario where those values of those cars, because there's going to be a lot less of them around, because they could become um, quite appealing to people who want to yeah have one more petrol vehicle or something like that, then I, I think values could potentially be strong as we reach uh, as we head towards the end of the decade, if things remain as they are. Obviously, it's all things being equal to where they are now. A lot will change, I would imagine, over that time. Yeah, and Darren, um, what's next for for the market? I mean, there'll be people looking at this story and, and watching this video, thinking, "Oh, this is the start of the start of the crash in prices." What what would you say to those people, and what what can they expect from from May and June? May's May's a bit of a tricky one to call because you've got three bank holidays. Um, we're not used to having that. I think we, we were probably. Um, Certainly the industry would be preferring if they were a little bit more spread out. So you've got three bank holidays. You've got a school holiday um, half term at the end as well where people can go away. But from the dealers I've spoken to, a lot of them are, are seeing this as an opportunity because depending on the weather, um, people go out and look for cars on a bank holiday Monday. What else What else is there to do, especially if the weather isn't great? There will be um, there will be people out looking for cars. So there's that side of it. But then there is the other side of it where people could go away again because they've got shorter weeks, um, and less less time to take off work. So I would be predicting for May quite similar to April. I think there will be a small movement down again, and I think there will continue to be some realignment in the EV world. So um, I certainly don't think that values will will sort of head back up. I think we are on a bit of a, a small downward trajectory. But if you look back at more normal years. There would always be a small movement down during the month because vehicles age in their life cycle and supply and demand dynamics um, come out. But the, on the supply side, I mean, new car supply fairly well documented. March was was up; it was a buoyant month. But for the first three months of the year, there were around thirty percent less cars registered than in twenty nineteen. There's still a shortfall of vehicles in the market, which will keep the market strong, keep pricing strong. So, your prediction for for prices towards the end of the year? up or down for the for the for the whole of 2023 I, I think it will be a small movement down they last year which was a strong year values uh, the way we measure it by measuring sort of a three-year-old car compared to a three-year-old car at the start of the year the same vehicles um came down about three percent i wouldn't be surprised if it's something similar this year darren thank you very much for your update as usual we look forward to chatting to you in in may and hearing how those bank holidays affect the used car market pleasure thanks james that's Darren Martin, Director of Valuations for Cap HPI. For the very latest on the used car market and to stay up to date, you can log on to cardinamagazine.co.uk and click on the used car tab at the top of the page. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.